Hello and welcome to Tile Capes. I'm Cody Nestor. He's Todd Hill. What's up, y'all? And we're uh, we're here to what shit on the new Superman suit, Todd? Oh, possibly. <laughs> possibly. <laughs> so, uh, as you may or may not know, uh, just a few days ago, uh, James Gunn has kind of given us our first official look at David Corn Sweat's Superman outfit from the new film Superman Legacy. Coming in 2025, July 11th, 2025. So we've got our first look, Todd. So I'm going to give you first crack at this thing. What did you think when you first saw this image? Uh, and has those feelings changed, I guess? So if you've ever seen Christmas Vacation, there's that scene where Clark opens up his Christmas bonus and he's thinking he's getting this big-ass check like he's got every year prior. And he's got enrolled into a Jelly of the Month club. And you kind of see that look on his face and his reaction. That's how I this felt. This is your jelly of the month club? Because I was at work and I was, went to break. <laughs> Why's there music playing? Why's there music playing? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we got the... Di, 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 di. Where's, Where's the music coming, coming from? from? Is it on my end? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well... Good job. I hope soundtrack brought to you by who the fuck knows. <laughs> so anyway, if this is all staying in, I was at work taking my break and I was just skimming through Facebook and oh, first images of James Gunn Superman. I was like, well, shit. And I clicked on it and I was like, well, shit. <laughs> and I immediately messaged Cody. I'm like, you know, you've seen this new soupy image and I, I you, you messaged me back a little bit later and yeah. we was both like, no, 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 son. <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, I l let me go on record first to say that my feelings about this could change if I see it in motion in the context of the film. There's there's a chance this could still look good, right? But if I'm just talking about this image, no, nah, it's an L for me. It's, yeah, it's an L because. Just kind of to start, kind of through some of the elements of it here. Obviously, if you haven't seen the the photo, it'll it'll be on screen here in the video. But we have you know David Cornsweat Superman in a very kind of uh, everyday average pose. <laughs> it's he's putting on his boots. He's like us, Todd. He might be from another planet. He's Kryptonian, but he puts his boots on one leg at a time, just like us, one foot at a time. And you know, people have debated. I've seen you know the debates online about this pose and why would you do this? Why would it not be the superhero pose or flying or something more dramatic? Yeah. Why would it not be something that we more evocative and more representative of a Superman imagery we've seen for the last 80 years? And the only thing that I can, that I would guess is that perhaps James Gunn is trying to frame this to make sure that we're getting away from that idea of, the Zack Snyder looking at Superman like the Jesus figure, like a god to be worshipped. That right, all that Snyder imagery of you know the very religious kind of imagery that we see, and a lot of those that Jesus imagery and all that stuff you see throughout Dawn of Justice and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's given that vibes, um, but even still, there's got to be a better way to do it than this. Yeah, there and it has to be. There was, uh, you know, I was initially kind of most angered by it. it was so it was so dark again. It was so dark. It was so dark. But then I kind of got to noticing after I saw a comment in a in a thread I was looking at. But somebody commented that the top of it is actually dirty. There's some dirt on the ass. There's some dirt on the shoulders. If yeah. you look down at the boots and the legs, there is a lighter tone of blue and I th I think a pretty appropriate shade of red. So that I'm happy with, but. You know, it's it's the, the collar, it's the way the cape attaches. He's trying to mesh, because we've got the trunks and the belt back, yeah. and it's kind of trying to mesh old school with, I think, some new 52, 52. influences. And I'm not, a, I'm not a trunks purist. I could take or leave the trunks. I'm fine right. with Henry Cavill's suit with not having the trunks. I've never beat the drum and be like, Superman suit must have trunks. Right. Like, I've never been like a trunks purist. Like, I'm okay with it not having it. Like, I think it's probably better to have it just to, you know, appease some of the people that are trunks mm -hmm. purist. And I don't think it matters either way. We're talking about a larger than life character. We're talking... Yeah. There's if you can't get past that and you're in in buying the premise of a Superman film, 
that you're not the target audience anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the problem is, like you said, I don't mind color. I don't mind the material. I don't mind... I don't mind the S. The design of the S. My problem with it is the suits... Again, this pose lends itself to this crinkly, ill-fitting looking yeah. suit where you that's that bugs me and also the s looks so flat it looks like somebody screened it on a t-shirt yeah. there's no texture to it right. it's not raised like the henry cavill one it is more like the christopher reeves just flat but again mm. that was a costume made in 1970s right look where we've come with some of the costumes we've had before i mean even brandon rouse he had kind of a raised s True. i wasn't a fan of the size of that s it was like too small really for his small chest. yeah this is a better size but it like it looks flat and i mean li literally you know, not to be that guy, but this this really gives me. Um, if somebody had told me that, like, hey man, I paid like five hundred dollars for this like really nice costume, yeah, yeah. I can see it. <laughs> like, if that was somebody's really good five hundred to a thousand dollar cosplay, I'd be like, all right, man, good job, dude. For this to be a major motion picture, no, 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 like it, it really gives me a little bit of Halloween costume vibes. Yeah. Like I've seen. Uh, I've, it really it really puts me in that mindset. It's like when uh, you know, there's a YouTube channel, it's Angry Joe Show. It really puts me in the mind when that dude like busts out his Superman suit. Like it, it really just puts me in the mind of kind of a, a good cosplayer, a good, a decent, more expensive Halloween or uh, spirit Halloween costume or something. And like I don't know, it's just I don't, just I don't know why you would do it this way. And I'm a proponent of like control your narrative and like I wanted them to release the suit and some behind the scenes stuff before you get some asshole snapping pictures with an iPhone. Spoiling it. Yeah. And I, I wanted that and but like I didn't want it this way. <laughs> and <laughs> not then, this way, James. Not this way, James. And like I don't know. It's just there's something about it that's off. And even the first time I saw Henry Cavill's suit, I wasn't completely sold. So there is room to there's room. There's room to change and feel with different information. I can I can change my opinion on it. But then also too, a problem of it that people have talked about. What do you how do you feel about the urgency factor? People have pointed out like the lack of urgency. Yeah. You have this big fucking eyeball blasting a beam down oh, into what we're Oh geez, let me get out here and deal with this shit. Yeah, again. it's really like <laughs> oh fucking here we go again. I was just trying this is cutting into my jerking time. You know what I mean? Like right. this is what do you think about the lack of urgency it shows? I mean, that really don't bother me that much, I'll right. be honest. I mean, I would have preferred a more, you know, dramatic pose, a more cinematic-looking pose, actually. I mean... Yeah, they touted this as, like, ooh, it's all in camera. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Obviously, there's Photoshop and there's editing done with, to this bullshit. But what if it was just this pose and it was just a nice daytime shot of Metropolis with maybe the Daily Plan in the back? I think it would have went off a lot better. I think so too. I mean, if you put some kind of jeopardy behind it, it looks it makes Superman look like he <laughs> like don't give Ale a fuck. Like Alex Trebek, <laughs> jeopardy. <laughs> jeopardy. No, I know what you mean. Like je cities in jeopardy. Yeah, yeah. You put this in impending danger behind him, and he's kind of almost got this like a days ago attitude about it. Right. It, it kind of makes him come off as kind of a dick. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And like, I don't know if this eyeball thingy, I don't know if it's supposed to be a clue or an Easter egg or if it's just some bullshit. They're like, well, there's got to be a threat in the background. Why is he putting on his costume? Like, kind of thing. Like, I don't know if this is anything that's going to be in the film. I hope not. I'm really tired of lasers in the sky uh, in superhero films. Yeah. But like, it should have just been like a daytime shot or an evening shot of the, the Metropolis skyline with the daily planet in the background and he's like getting ready to go on patrol or something because it does it. You do give the people the opportunity to question the urgency of it. Yeah. I, I just look at it as some fake background that they threw in there. So I don't really care about the urgency factor for me. It's still the focus is the suit. Yeah. It's not, it's not hidden for me. Yeah. It's really not hitting for me. I'm I like, think if, if, I don't know if it's, if it's too late now, <laughs> but if you can kind of get that cape closer to more traditionally tucked, right. maybe, you know, puff up that S a little bit, like give it some texture. I think yeah. I got something I can work with here. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'll give you that. Like I was never a fan of the collar, new 52 style. Mm -hmm. I never really was a fan of that. And I'm not like a big fan of like exposing the whole neck and the deltoid or whatever and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, tight to the to yeah. the neck area. It needs to come in a little bit. Yeah, like <laughs> it does. It it, does, it gives uh, the cape gives uh, Dracula vibes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dracula. It gives Dracula vibes, Todd. And I'm not a real big fan of Dracula cape vibes with my Superman. 
Yeah. Um, and you know, we I could piss and moan about the colors and stuff, but I know we're never going to get the Christopher Reeve bright yeah. and colorful suits. We didn't get it in the Zack Snyder, and we're probably not going to get it here. It is brighter probably in in action than than we kind of see here. But again, that the S is my problem, really, and the fact that you would put out a photo that looks. It makes the suit look so tacky and like it almost makes it look so cheap in this. Yeah. And I, I would hope that it's not actually cheap and I hope that it's not actually tacky, but just to see the wrinkles and like all this kind of stuff. And I and I know it's probably supposed to evoke that he's an everyman and he's just like us. And he, but he's not though. He's not like us. He's not though. He's Superman. I don't the <laughs> thing that appeals to me about Superman is that it's not his everydayness. Right. It's not that he's just like me. It's I don't I don't go to a movie. I, I don't want to see him wash his dishes. Right. I don't want to see him go to the laundromat. Talk. Right. I want to see him like. I want to see him catch a bus. Yeah. Or I something. want to see him. Yeah. I want to see him hit something with a bus. Yeah. Like I want to see him do something. I want to see him you know flick peanuts at a bar. Right. I mean like something like. Other than this, and like I know people have like memed this to death, and some of the memes are hilarious. You've got Godzilla in the background. Right. I've seen the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Right. Uh, I've seen all kinds of stuff. Of the Twin Towers. I mean, everything, Todd. I've like, seen this Superman switched out with the bad tar Christopher Reeve, like flicking the peanuts or yeah. taking a shot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, people redoing the suit to make it look better, to make it look more traditional, yeah. like. Again, we're no, we're never going to agree as a, a fandom on like on suits or some people that hate this and love yeah. it. Yeah, and I'm not going to say that I go into hate, but I do. I would say dislike right now, based on the information I have, and I I reserve the right to change my my uh, thinking and about it with new information, with more steals, maybe with a trailer, perhaps. Yeah, I reserve the right to change my opinion on it, but right now. Uh, it's a pretty strong dislike. If it was one of those things like, uh, almost, you know, like from strong, like strongly agree to, or strongly like to strongly dislike, disagree. Yeah. Where, where would you rate this? I would be on that strongly dislike side of right. things. Like, I just think it's, um, is it better than Brandon Ralph suit? I think so. Okay. I think it's better than the Ralph suit. The Ralph suit, uh, it was that red was that one red that was burgundy. It was like crimson. That yeah. was burgundy all day long. The right. S was way too small. Yeah. And I've got an underlying thing here for me. This is just me, but you know, my generation, I I had my Superman, I had Christopher Reeve, but I I want to see this character done right again so bad. <laughs> yeah, just like with Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, there was a lot riding on that film, and again, here we are. You know, that was 2013. Here we are. Another one's coming out in 2025. And mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot riding on this Superman film. Again, if you don't get it right with this, your whole new DCU is off to another bad start. And, like, if this doesn't go over well, like, if it's not, it doesn't have to be the the best thing ever. But it needs to be one of those universally accepted where, like, if you ask somebody about it, like, hey, did you see the new you see Superman Legacy? They'd be like, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It needs yeah. to be at least that. It doesn't yeah. need to be like where you could ask a man on the street and you ask five people and two of them would be like, yeah, it was pretty good. And three of them would be like, what the fuck was that bullshit? <laughs> exactly. You know, like he's you're toting a skull and like, you know, yeah. the fucking uh, Krypton looks weird <laughs> and his suit's all dark, you know? Yeah. Like it needs to be pretty universally saying, yeah, pretty good too. That was great. Yeah. It needs to be somewhere in there. So it really worries me that. You know, and I, I think James Gunn, for the most part, gets it. He gets it right for the most part, most of the time. Like I feel like this was a, this would be a better photo of like Star Lord. This is like a Star Lord thing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Watching yeah. Star Lord get ready in the morning right. or something. It doesn't it doesn't fit Superman. He says that Superman's a totally different animal, totally yeah. different beast. But you know, like I say, just just off of this image, I think we've came out with a whimper, not a bang. Yeah. Uh, you know, like you say, I want to see a trailer, you know, a teaser. I want to see it in motion, you yeah. know, see it in some, you know, realistic lighting, how it's going to look in the film. Yeah. Is it better than the Man of Steel suit? Uh, right now, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, the, the Man of Steel suit, I think, looks better um, in photos than it actually does. Like, if you could have, like, a, a photo of, like, 
the lighting that that film should have had. Like that that suit looks better in actual lighting when they don't. The color it doesn't have a lot of color, but it has more color than Zack Snyder actually gave it yeah. in the film. Mm-hmm. Like so, I, I do think that that suit is better. Um, and like too, like the way this is framed, like you can if you zoom in on it too, like you can see like half of his eyes like close half open one's closed one like are you asleep man (laughs) look outside the window (laughs) it's just not a good it's just not the thing you wanted to see for the first shot of this out of this film it really like you said it's not coming in with a with a bang it's it's coming in with a little bit of a whimper and it is it is definitely kind of you know temp you know kind of tamp down my excitement a little, yeah, a I would, little bit. I would say so. A little bit. I don't want to make too much of it. I don't. I don't. You know, people to be like, mm, listen, these whiny bitches. Yeah. But I mean, like, again, we all argue yeah. about this stuff. That's what the internet is for. It's for shit like this. But like, I don't know. I just, if you tweaked a few things, I think it could be a pretty good suit. But like, as it is right now, I'm hoping. I hope it looks better in action. In action, in in film, I'm hoping it's better than this image. Yes, yes. Because, like, at the end of the day, like, the suit is a big part of it. You know, you could get a lot of things right and get the look of Superman wrong, and that's... That's going to take me out of it a lot. Yeah, because, I, mean, I mean, Brandon Ralph, I thought, for whatever problems Superman Returns had, and it had some, yeah. <laughs> he, he he was pretty good as Superman Clark Kent. But yeah. the suits. The suit, yeah, and some of the, like, well, it basically being a, almost a damn remake of Superman the movie. Right. That's what hurt it. Yeah. But, like, yeah, the suit being a little, it was it was stuck in between wanting to be Christopher Reeve and wanting to be something you know, different. Something different. Yeah. And uh, that's that's what hurt that. That's you could say about that. That's pretty much the whole movie. Mm. It was stuck between wanting to be Christopher Reeve and yeah. wanting to be something different. That's the big problem with Superman Returns, which I don't I don't hate. Uh, I don't hate that film. It's, there was our mini Superman Returns review. Yeah, everybody. I know, right? <laughs> we will <laughs> never have to cover that for a popcorn moment of <laughs> time. But yeah, let's. Uh, we're 18 minutes talking about this suit or so. We're so. wrapping this up. Yeah, let's wrap this up, Todd. Any uh, final thoughts? Anything you want to express here while you've got the forum to do it before we call it a day? Nah, I think we've pretty much said what needs to be said. Just going off this initial image, uh, underwhelmed, but hopefully we'll look better in a trailer and in motion. Yep, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Todd and I both reserved the right to change our opinions about the suit. We're not locked into the, the thoughts we see today, but right now I think the best word to describe how we both feel about it is underwhelmed. Yep. How do you feel about it? What do you think about the suit? If you're watching this video, uh, leave us uh, some comments down there. Tell us what you think about yeah, the suit. let us know. Is, is it a W? Is it an L? Are we crazy? Are we right on the money? Let us know what you think. Uh, Todd, you want to tell everyone how they can find us and stay up to date with us on social media? We are at Tau Capes on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Tau Capes Podcast on Facebook. You can also email us at TauCapesPod at gmail.com. If you enjoy the show, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. I want to thank you so much for watching. Tau Capes will return. Until next time, bye guys. See you guys.